All right, so the wakelet link should have taken you to a screen that looks like this. Um, and the first thing that you'll want to do is make a copy of my template because we wouldn't all want to be working on the same document at the same time. That would be chaotic. So you can just put your name, I'll do M Rainero, copy of Upcycled Mittens template. And that will just open up in a new window. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to use this template to play around with the different fabrics that we have for our Upcycled Mittens project. I know it's hard that you can't pick them out in person and feel them in your hands, but hopefully this will be uh, a good substitute and also teach you some fun tech skills that you can use for other um, design projects. Uh, so it's really easy. Um, we just select a section. Um, some of these sections are, uh, they're subdiv subdivided, but in real life it would all be one big piece of fabric here. Uh, the reason that it's divided in the template is because of the way I built the template. When you go to the crop tool, it has these um, shapes, arrows, callouts, and equations that you can choose from. So uh, it's a limited number, but there's a good variety, and you can combine them in all sorts of different configurations. So I think it would be really fun for you to explore this more later um, on your own if you have other upcycling projects that you'd like to do, if you have some fabric that you're not quite sure what to do with it, you could always combine some of these shapes into different designs and, uh, and get a sense of how it could look. So you can explore that later. But in any case, back to the task at hand. Uh, to change the fabric that we see in this template, we just right click and go to replace image and then to drive. Go to shared with me and then click on whichever folder has the fabrics you're interested in exploring first. So I'll click on the heavy felted wool. So for this one, I think I'll do an all pink back of the mitten. So I'll change that and then again, replace image, drive, click on the pink and replace. And in the front, I think I'll do, um, I think I'm going to try some green on the top here. By the way, these colors, uh, you can see that uh, other than the one fabric, the fiery colored fabric that uh, that was separate, but the other solid colored fabrics I dyed with food coloring. It, they came from a baby blanket that uh, had some pastel colors. I wasn't so sure how you guys would feel about them. So um, that's really fun. All you need is uh, vinegar and food coloring to dye wool. So I really enjoyed that. Okay, and I think I'll do blue for, or no, I think I'll do the, I'll try the periwinkle blue this time for the bottom. And same thing with the thumb. The thumb is going to be, again, just part of this one piece of fabric when we actually sew the mittens. And then there will also be a top part from coming from the top piece of the front, so from that green part, but you can't see that in the design here. All right, so that will also be periwinkle blue. Okay, so now I have my new design. I haven't yet photographed the other, um, 
the other fleece yet, so I'll leave those cuffs as they are, but by the time you guys are doing this, there should be a lot of great choices. We have some really fun fleece remnants from past pajama pants projects that Ms. Dalton has done with her former students, so those should be really nice for the linings. And that's all there is to it. So go ahead, explore, have fun, um, try out different combinations. You can always save one and make a copy like we did before um, so that you can make several different versions and save them to compare later. Here it was, yeah, make a copy. So, um, once you feel happy with that and you've found your top three choices of uh, fabric combinations, head back to the Wakelet playlist and you'll find a Google form there that you can fill out where you share your top three choices and you can also uh, submit your your designs there, your pictures. So I can't wait to see what you guys have done, uh, what you guys come up with. I hope you really enjoy it. And please let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.